Good morning. It is Healed with Dr. Fred, and we're going to talk about letting go of all attachments so we can experience peace. By the way, peace on the map of consciousness is above love. So today we're going through exercise, loving yourself and others. When we get in a state of peace, love is automatic. So how cool is that? Not only are we filled with what love, we radiate love out into the world. So I was reading this book. It's one of my morning rituals. If you can see this, called The Success Book by John Randolph Price. Let me put my glasses on. So check this out. Here's today's affirmation. I have surrendered everything. What thing? Everything in my life to the spirit of God within. Now that may seem like an honor God within yourself and that's where it starts, but check this out. I've made the commitment to become totally detached to lack, debt, ailments, possessions, conditions, and situations in my individual world. What's that mean? Hey, you're releasing attachment to all stuff outside. I have cut the cord on people, places, and things that have caused pulls in my consciousness That means people in relationships that drag you down, that you have a negative meaning to, that are continually pulling your state down out of love and out of a state of inner peace. And I put my emotions, what's that mean? We can actually control our emotions rather than our emotions controlling us. Under the control of my higher self. Man, if you gave your emotions to your divinity, what would you see? You wouldn't have anger, you wouldn't have frustration, you wouldn't have resentment, you wouldn't have guilt, you wouldn't have shame. What would you have? You'd have love, joy, and peace. So that all resentment, condemnation, judgment, unforgiveness, that's next week on A, and jealousy will be transmuted. Now what's it transmuted to? It's transmuted to peace. We attain the state of inner peace by being detached. Detach doesn't mean you don't care. Surrendering doesn't mean you give up. It means I'm not going to allow the meaning of those things outside of me affect the meaning of who I believe I am, a loving, peaceful being here in the physical presence to be able to radiate and spread unconditional love and joy and peace. I'm going to not let the meaning of those things and my human emotions be able to dictate or lower my state of being. Now, when you're in peace, peace in the map of consciousness by David Hawkins, you can look that up, is just under pure consciousness. It's just under God-like consciousness. Under peace, the next lower consciousness is joy. Wow, that's, that's amazing. The one under that is unconditional love. When we're in peace, we already have love. Love and joy are automatic. Now, when love and joy are automatic, what do we want to do? We want to radiate it. We want to exercise it. So here's the action step for today because we are going to exercise, right? We are going to actually make love matter into the physical plane. We're going to do something. We be first, then we do. So here is a, an ex- a way to exercise love. Just give blessings. What's that mean? Have gratitude. It means, hey, if somebody serves you something, just say thank you. And, you know, a lot of times uh, what I've come to do is when you give blessings and giving and receiving are the same, you realize that you are blessed. So when you exercise love, joy, and peace, you feel love, joy, and peace in your body if you're conscious of it in the moment. So many times when, hey, go to Starbucks, or I don't go to Starbucks very often, but I go to the gym or wherever you go, when I'm parting from someone, I say blessings to you. If I see someone that's having a really slow gait or that bad posture because I'm a chiropractor, I'll say blessings to you. When I hang up the phone, many times I say blessings to you. Not all the time. When I'm conscious of it, I do it. When I, when I have my little salutation at the end of the letter, many blessings to you on dms or online many blessings to you let's just say let's just give blessings let's release our attachment see everything with peace and joy that's the new meaning and then let's walk around and bless people bless conditions bless the things in our life rather than having resentment and guilt and shame and judgment and criticism Let's just have love, joy, and peace, release the attachment, chain, transmute it into something more loving, and then let's give blessings. I guarantee your day, your life, your whole definition, the whole reason you're here, 
and everything you do feel and believe who you are will change when you make this a ritual. All right, let's go exercise love, gang, and let's shift the consciousness of the planet. Love you guys.